Hi there, I'm Steve Smith, aka R Dallas, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use Visual Studio for Mac to deploy the eShop on Web reference application to Azure. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go out to GitHub and download or clone the eShop on Web application, and then open it up in Visual Studio for Mac. The next thing you'll need is a free Azure account, which you can get from azure.microsoft.com or use your existing Azure account if you prefer. In Visual Studio for Mac, all we need to do to deploy this application to Azure is right-click on the web project and then choose the Publish option. Here, of course, we'll choose Publish to Azure. Now we can choose an existing app service to deploy to if we've already deployed this app previously or we can choose a new option. Let's click on New to create a new app service. In the New App Service dialog, we have to fill in a little bit of information, starting with a unique app service name. I'm going to call this eShop on Web Demo 2. Then we need to specify a subscription, as well as a resource group, which in my case I'm going to match to the name of the app service so it's easy to find later. And likewise, we need to specify a service plan, which I'm going to do the same thing with so that I can locate it later when I need to clean this up. Let's pick a region a little bit closer to home. And let's pick a price plan. Uh, free sounds good. When you're done, click Next. Here we could configure a Docker container. When you deploy a Docker container as an Azure App Service, it uses a private registry that you create. That's what this dialog is asking, is how you'd like to configure your private registry that will live in Azure and maintain your containers that you push up into Azure to use with your app services and other things that use containers in Azure. We don't need to use a Docker container for this purpose, so we're going to uncheck this box, and then we're going to go ahead and create our new app service. Now, while it's creating the app service, we can continue to work on our project. Visual Studio continues to be responsive. We don't have to wait for this to take place because it could take a little bit of time. After a few minutes, Visual Studio will launch a browser and load our app so that we can verify that it was deployed correctly. Now Visual Studio has just launched my browser to show me that the deployment has completed. I expect there's going to be a problem though. And here it is. We get an error page saying that we were loaded in the wrong ASP.NET Core environment and that if we switch to development mode, we'll get more detailed information. The issue here is that by default, it's going to be deployed in production mode, and production mode expects a database. So we're going to go out to the Azure portal. We're going to find our app service. We're going to click on its configuration settings. We're going to add a new app setting, ASP.NET Core underscore environment, and we're going to set this value to development. In development mode, our application is going to use an in-memory database. So we'll be able to test it out, even in Azure, without having to create a separate database. Don't forget to hit Save after you make that change to the environment, and then wait for it to let you know that it has completed updating the web settings. Now refresh the page, and in just a few seconds, we should see the application load successfully. Now remember, this is only using an in-memory data store, so this is not something you want to use in production. If we want to deploy the application again in order to make additional updates, the next time all we have to do is choose Publish and then choose our previously configured Publish plan. After the second Publish, the site loads once more, and this time you can see everything works as expected. This is a great way to share work in progress with remote stakeholders while you're working on a web application. That's it for this demo. We deployed to Azure not once, but twice. I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll check out the eShop on Web reference application available for free on GitHub.